Uh, welcome everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can download and set up SQLite 3 to build Flask applications. Okay, you just have to go to any one of your browsers and uh, just type uh, download SQLite 3. Okay, third is the version. Okay, so this is going to get, uh, take you to this first link that is sqlite.org. Just click on that. Okay, you will be navigated to that particular folder and uh, I'm using a Windows operating system and you will have to go to uh, pre-compiled binaries for windows okay so this is where i have to go and uh, depending upon the operating system either android linux mac os you will have to go to that particular section okay and then once you are in that particular section of the os whichever you are using okay so this is the third link not 32 bit okay not 30, 64 bit you will have to click on this one okay that is sqlite tools 32 into x86 this number and it's a, it's going to be a zip file okay and all you are going to do is then uh, just uh, go to this zip file and just cut it from the downloads folder okay that is what exactly i have done already and i have stored okay i have stored the zip file okay here means i just copy pasted the zip file over here and extracted the contents over in this particular folder Okay, so this is that particular folder, SQLite Tools Windows th uh, 32 into x86, it says. Just open that folder and uh, you should be able to see these three files. Okay, that is SQLDIFFEXE, SQLite3.exe and SQLite3 underscore analyzer.exe. Okay, if you don't find these three files, then we have you have done some mistake in downloading that particular file. Okay, once it is done, all you have to do is you just have to copy this file path location okay then go to enough any uh you can just go to this pc right click go to properties okay you are going to get this particular screen just go to advanced system settings and then in advanced system settings you will have to go to environment variables and here in system variables okay you will find this path just click on that and click on edit okay see guys if it is already there in this list you don't have to do that okay but if it is not there okay then you will have to click on new and paste the path over there okay see guys right now i already have uh, in my c drive as well okay so it's already there so i don't have to do that one more time okay so you just have to click on okay okay and click on okay and close okay one way to confirm whether sqlite is there in your system or not is just to open up a command prompt Okay, this is this is the command prompt okay and uh, you just have to type sqlite sqlite and uh, this is the third version which we are using so if you say like this it is going to give you what version of sqlite is already installed in your system okay and uh, how you can open a file and all those things okay so dot help enter and it will give you all the list of sql commands okay which are there which you can use in sqlite 3 okay so this is the easiest way of downloading sqlite 3 in windows machines okay i hope you like this video thank you very much okay let me close this one so i'll see you in the next one